Hello, and welcome back to Outmouse Labs. Um, I got a request on Reddit to do a coding tutorial or a plugin tutorial um, showing off the basics of using the plugin commands in RPG Maker MZ. Now, I do want to stress this is an area where MZ and MV are different, so this is for MZ or Z. Um, all right, so it starts out just like we would do any other plugin with our information on the plugin and the JS stock so that RPG Maker MZ knows what our plugin is. So up here I have a couple of comments with the name of it and the name of the file. Then with our slash star we start the JS doc. We say that this is at target MZ, meaning it's for MZ. Um, the plugin description uh, creates an alert pop-up with the plugin command and the author, which is Outmouse Labs. Now keep in mind that this functionality of pulling up an alert may not be something you would actually use in a game. It's just to show how plugin commands work. Next up, we have our at help, and then the name of our plugin, and that establishes that things below this are going to be our help file. Just some basic description, instructions on how to use it, and then we get into the first main part. So we're creating our command. So to create a command, it's at command, and then a name, in this case set. Um, if you have text in the command, it's at text, and mine, in this case, set message, and then if you have a description, the at descript or DESC set the message to show. So that creates our command. Next, we're going to create an argument. Now, you may remember from a previous tutorial, we created parameters. Parameters are changed in the plugin uh, manager that the developer has access to, the little puzzle piece. Arguments are similar to parameters, but they're uh, set by the developer when they do a plugin command in an event. So the key here is at arg, and then a name, in this case, message. We're saying the type of this, uh, the type is string, so it is a text string. And the text to tell the user what it is, is the message. And the description is text to display in the alert. So now we have created a command, and we've created an argument that the command is going to act on or use. All right, then we end our JS stock. Next, as always, we're going to create a, an object. An object is a container or box that holds information. The way we're doing it in this case is we're saying AML, short for Outmouse Labs, is equal to itself if it already exists, or a new object if it doesn't. By putting this at the top of all my plugins, I'm creating a box that all of my plugins will go into when someone runs the program. That way our code is protected and separate from everyone else's. Now you can do any unique identifier you want. It could be your initials, it could be your handle, um, anything like that. Typically it is going to be capitalized and this is to kind of give it some individuality or uniqueness so that it's unlikely to be copied, but also uh, typically things that don't change, so constants, are capitals. And while this is using the var keyword, it's still being treated like a constant. Okay, next up. We're going to create a function to hold your code and place it inside your object. So once again, we have our box, and in our box, we're going to create a function. So AML dot alert command, the dot operator says put it in AML, is a function. And that function has no parameters. And all it does is uh, assign a variable, which is let message touch equals a string with nothing in it. So that's just creating a variable. Next up. We're going to create a variable that holds the name of the plugin. This is the same as the name of the JS file. This is important. So your plugin name will always be the same as your file name without the .js. In this case, AML underscore plugin command example. Next, we're going to register our command. So we created our command up here, and we're going to register it with RPG Maker down here. So plugin manager dot register command. Plugin name, so the name of our plugin, it's at referencing this variable. Then set, which is the name of the command we set up in the JS stock. Args means any arguments that come with it. Right? And for us, we only have one, but you could have multiple. So this will include any args that are present. And then the function body. So this is where you put the effects of the command. Think of plugin commands as functions, because that's essentially what they are, that are triggered by the event that has the plugin command event in it. So what we want it to do is take message text and put a string in it that is equal to args.message. So just to slow that down, we created a variable, message text, 
And then when someone runs our plugin command, which is called set, we're going to assign a string that is equal to this arg message. And that is the key here. And then we're going to run an alert with message text. So that's what that's what allows our command to work. You can think of it as a function that the developer can use. Lastly, we're going to call our overall function so that it's active. Ultimately, what this does is have RPG Maker check um, every frame if this has to do anything. In this case, if it needs to run our command. So. This hopefully looks pretty familiar overall if you've been following my other tutorials because this is the basic structure. I do encourage you to download this one even if, I mean, obviously you're probably not going to use its functionality, but this is a template that you can use to make any kind of basic plugin. Um, and it's well uh, com commented so you know what each piece is for. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open RPG Maker and see what this looks like. One moment. There we go. Oh, opened up on the other screen. One second. Drag it over here. Oh. Okay. So, first of all, we go into our plugin list and we make sure that it's turned on. Um, oh, this loaded the wrong. It auto loaded the wrong project. My apologies, y'all. One second. There we go. All right, we go in, we make sure that it is on. Down at the bottom, I have AML plugin command example. It's on, it has the author from what we put earlier, it has the description, and it has the help from what we put earlier. So you can see how that JS doc becomes the plugin. So it is there, and then I can actually show it to you here. We have just an event, it's a dog, and we have our plugin command. In case you don't know, you go to the third tab, and click plugin command to add plugin commands. All right, so in our plugin command, you see our name, you see our command list. We only have one set message, and then we see the description we added when we did when we created the command, and the argument that we created when we added the command. So great, that should be looking the same as your code. Our message is a string. I put bark. And just to show that it works like any other plugin command, this one is a cat. Works exactly the same way, only we put meow. Okay, so that is our plugin command being picked up by the by RPG Maker and properly configured. If we run this, as we set it up to just be an action. We go talk to our dog and it alerts bark. We go talk to our cat and it alerts meow. There it is, nice and simple. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you can see how this works. Again, going back to the code briefly, you can see each piece of our code and how it turns up in the editor. Feel free to use this file if you'd like. I will put a link to the download in the description. And I certainly hope this was helpful. All right, take care and happy game making.